The first product on our list is Netgear Nighthawk C7800. The Netgear Nighthawk C7800 keeps your connection free of interruptions with 32 bonded downstream channels that can pick up the slack for one another during peak hours. It features DOCSIS 3.1 technology, which improves your speed and reliability tremendously. This product is available on Amazon for $300. This product has average 4.3 stars from more than 10,445 customer reviews, a customer said. This product says great. We have Comcast as our provider and service is not good. I refuse to rent their router. My previous router was 6 years old and they kept blaming it on that. Could not FaceTime or stream without trouble. I went to Best Buy to get their opinion and they wanted to sell me a separate router and a modem. Cost was over $200. Decided to use my Prime ACCT. And check out an all-in-one router, modem and could not be happier with this product. I am not a tech person but setting this up was. The second product on our list is. Asus CM32 Combo. Designed with gamers in mind, the Asus CM32 Combo boasts speeds in excess of 1 gigabit per second, so you won't get sniped by your competition due to an unfortunate lag in performance. Its articulating antennas let you direct its coverage. This product is available on Amazon for $180. Check out the link in the YouTube description. The average rating of this product is 4.1 stars with more than 889 customer reviews, a customer said. I was switching internet to Comcast Xfinity and decided to purchase my own cable modem to avoid the $10 a month rental fee. Initially I was looking at an all-in-one router combo, but decided it would be in my best interest to purchase a separate router and cable modem. The issues I found after researching are that a lot of those all-in-one units have problems with the wireless degrading over time and they're expensive to replace. The biggest issue is that cable modem firmware is not controlled by the end user or owner, the cable company. Another happy customer said. After spending 2.5 years dealing with the crap modem from Comcast Xfinity, I finally took the leap. After reading up for a couple weeks on which cable modem, router combo would be best, I narrowed the list down to two different items. On the model that Comcast Xfinity leases, to me, I very rarely got transfer speeds anywhere near the 125 megabits per second that I was paying for. I was averaging almost half of that, at 59.78 megabits per second. According to Comcast, it was due to the amount of people in my area that were using their internet service. After disabling the guest account that Comcast forces. The next one is Aris Surfboard Plus SBG 8300. Coming from a line of models known for their effectiveness and user friendliness, the Aris Surfboard Plus SBG 8300 offers an incredibly fast performance and an intuitive manager app that runs smoothly on both Android and iOS devices. The price approximately $287. There are 656 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.6 stars, a customer said. I've been using an Aris Doxus 3.0 modem Wi-Fi combo for the past five years and I thought it's about time to upgrade to Doxus 3.1. I'm glad about my decision and purchase considering the price and supposed to be top of the line model, SBG8300. Because I saw the difference with regards to speed, I'm using Xfinity at 275 megabits per second plan, which increased to 390 MPBs. Thank goodness that it's been pretty consistent after almost a month of using it. Plus, you'll get an extended two-year warranty after you registered the product on their Aris Consumer Support website. I hope that. Another happy customer said. We were on Comcast Blast High Speed Internet, rated at 150 Mbps. Using our three-year-old SBG 6782AC we had wired desktop speed of 170 Mbps, and about 65 Mbps on my cell phone. Upgraded our Comcast to 400 Mbps, but only got 270 Mbps on the desktop due to a modem rating of 343 Mbps. So, ordered this new SBG8300, received it the next day, and made the switch. 
the photo shows my desktop speed now, and my cell phone speed test shows 192 Mbps download. Our upload speed more than doubled from 13 to 29 Mbps. The modem is extremely easy to set up with Comcast, just connect it and... The next product in our list is Netgear Orbi All-in-One. The Netgear Orbi All-in-One is intended to be used as the hub in a wireless mesh system for the home that employs Wi-Fi nodes throughout the house to ensure complete coverage. Even on its own, though, it's still a very capable device. This product is available on Amazon for $227. Check out the link in the... There are 341 reviews which average rating is 4.3 stars for this product. A customer said. I gave install 5 stars because it is easy to install however if you have a complicated network or adding it to an existing Orbi network, as I was. It was more difficult. If adding to existing Orbi network, replacing rented cable modem, they're two important thing to know. It doesn't work in AP mode just as a modem rest of the network failed to have internet and needed to change it over to run on the CBR40 as the new network. Also if doing that, any, circle, parental controls and device naming etc. all have to be redone. And any existing. The next product in our list is. Motorola MB8600. The Motorola MB8600 features a chipset designed to prevent denial of service attacks, and an attractive housing that is exceedingly well ventilated, ensuring a long lifespan. It doesn't put out a Wi-Fi signal of its own, so pair it with a good router. The price is around $170. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.6 stars from 2,832 customer reviews. A customer said. The Xfinity compatible modem was super easy to set up following the quick start guide included in the box. Word of advice for Comcast Xfinity subscribers. When stepping through the setup wizard, selecting the option to text an activation code is a joke. The code is only good for 15 minutes but I didn't receive the text until 30 minutes had passed. Just stick with your Xfinity account name for the activation and provisioning. Xfinity upgraded to Doxus 3.1, and, while my own 6-year-old trusty Motorola surfboard SB6580 was working fine, Xfinity found every reason to pester. Another happy customer said. Great product. Works as advertised. Instruction manual is terrible but Motorola support is too notch. To use with Comcast Xfinity. 1. Plug in modem, attach coax, and connect port 1 to a laptop with Ethernet cord 2. Go to Xfinity setup webpage on your laptop and enter account credentials to activate modem. Web page address is an instruction manual. 3. Modem will reset and then you should have wired web connectivity with your laptop. 4. Unplug modem power. Disconnect laptop and connect terminal 1 of modem with Ethernet cable to your router with router powered on, and then plug in modem power 5. After plugging, the next one is Aris Surfboard SBG 7600AC2. The Aris Surfboard SBG 7600AC2 comes with McAfee Secure Home Internet software built in, so you can rest assured that your computer is protected against all manner of viruses and malware. The device itself is covered by a two year warranty. This product is available on Amazon for $176. There are 918 reviews which average rating is 4.4 stars for this product, a customer said. This is quite simply, life-changing. I moved away from the Comcast supplied modem router about four years ago. I purchased the Aris Surfboard SB6121 and the TP-Link AC1200. I had one Wi-Fi extender. For reasons that I cannot explain, I endured years of terrible and slow connections, regardless if I was using my smartphone, or my Apple TV. My laptop computer rarely worked. My Roku TV always disconnected. The more connections I needed to make, the more I realized it was a disaster and needed replaced. It was time for a change. Then I discovered the Aris Surfboard, 32x8, AC2350. My. Another happy customer said. Works well with Xfinity but. Xfinity had a very difficult time activating it on their system. I tried normal customer service, overseas call center, for two hours one night. They told us to bring it in to a local store to be, scanned. 
At the store they too were unable to activate it and told us to call their highest level technical assistance in Arizona. After two hours they finally activated it. It turns out that Xfinity has the model incorrectly listed. Hopefully they got that fixed and activating it now may be easier. The number 7. Netgear CM600. The Netgear CM600 boasts 400 Mbps download speeds, and has a gigabit Ethernet port for hooking up to a router or hardwiring to your computer. The indicator lights are just bright enough to be helpful, but not so intense they'll keep you up at night. The price approximately $97. This product has average 4.3 stars from more than 18,804 customer reviews. A customer said. Five minutes after arriving on our doorstep, the new cable modem is up and running. Bracing myself for difficulty with Comcast, I was pleased at how easy setup was without ever having to speak to Comcast's clueless CS. Using a laptop with an Ethernet jack, here's how easy it was, one wrote down my Comcast account number, this is the most important step. Two connected modem to cable, power, and phone line three connected Ethernet cable to modem and computer four waited three minutes for the first three lights to blink steady they'll blink and flash while the modem is sinking. You could wait. Another happy customer said. The Netgear CM600 cable modem is an ultimately reliable DOCSIS 3.0 cable modem for service speeds up to 300 megabits sec or faster. Unlike the company's CM700 model, it does not incorporate the troublesome Intel Puma 6 chipset found in many higher-end cable modems, making it a more reliable choice. There may be a downside for some, having little to do with the CM600. When accessing the CM600 interface, it is noted that all firmware upgrades can only be provided by the ISP, in my case, Spectrum. Whether Spectrum will upgrade said firmware, when and if necessary, is questionable, though it would. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.